Dear White People, you've got the movie that was sort of like the initial sort of informing of things, but um, Little Fires Everywhere and Mrs. Fletcher are based on books. Right. And the, the prose that sort of inhabits those books is very specific and very much its own style. Can you talk a little bit about what it's like as a cinematographer thinking in terms of that adaptation, like yeah. visualizing the words on a page and how does that change the look of things when you're filming? Totally, yeah, it's a really great exercise um, because in adaptations, obviously the dialogue's pretty easy to translate. Not that these, these are easy adaptations at all, actually. There's a lot of restructuring and a lot of obviously rewriting these characters and the characters and the books and the movies are quite different, all that stuff. Um, but that's more of a one-to-one -one sort of adaptation. But what's missing you know, from the author's sort of intention um, in a screenplay usually is like, is this told in sort of a streams of consciousness vibe or you know, is this in a very formal and flowery vibe? Is there an omniscient narrator who knows thoughts in people's heads? And then you have to sort of decide what's gonna be, how are we gonna sort of weave the fabric around this dialogue? and you know stay true to the intentions of the book and let's say it is omniscient and you know after everyone says something we hear but they were really thinking this all that stuff is obviously interpreted by the actors but also do we want to see them see something uh, more do we want to you know embed with their point of view a lot more um, versus something that's more sort of streams of consciousness or first person is that more objective feeling is that more handheld raw doc style um it's an interesting question it's a really interesting exercise i've found even in non-adaptations like trying to decide what that language might feel like for what the tone is because it's such a, a great starting point for like developing the tone and basically the visuals are that um you know that side of the storytelling so um there's it's just a great place for inspiration. It's not necessarily something they're expecting you to do, but it is something that can help bring, you know, the words in between the dialogue to the screen in a way that feels appropriate. You know, if it's like really descriptive and really flowery and really formal, then maybe it is more pushes and more slick lighting and all that stuff. You should sort of peel it apart and make your own interpretation of that. And then obviously present that to the director and showrunner and see if that feels right um, and see if they were interpreting those similar sort of vibes. Mm -hmm.